I rescued this mirror out of a dumpster. The frame is laminate and it's got some pretty serious gouges in it. And the project today is to see if we can give it new life. Someone had tried a few repairs on this in the past, so I'm using a rasp to get underneath those. Then I scuff sanded the whole thing with 150 grit sandpaper, getting it ready for the wood filler and eventually primer and paint. This is my first time using this two-part Bondo wood filler. You start with the filler and then there's a separate tube of hardener. You use a dab of that and mix them together. I recommend mixing in small batches because the working time is pretty short, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Picking the right grit sandpaper was a little tricky. If you put on the Bondo too thick like I did in some places, you want to get through that efficiently, but on the other hand, I don't want to go through the laminate. The other tricky part is that the Bondo clogs up the sanding pad pretty quickly. So what starts as an aggressive grit in the beginning becomes much less so after just a few minutes of sanding. Ultimately, I was switching between 80 grit and 120 grit depending on how much material I needed to take off. The first fill and sand did pretty well for most of the gouges, but the serious gouges, the corners in particular, needed another coat and sand. The plan is to paint this white, and although I've scuff sanded it, the laminate still has a top coat on it of some kind, and I don't expect the paint to stick well without primer. There's nothing like a coat of paint to show you the touch-ups that you missed. I had to go back for another round of filling and sanding. The top coat is just satin enamel white. For the inserts in the mirror frame, I bought this silver wallpaper off of Amazon. I'm cutting it to size and peeling and sticking it in. The design of this paper, in my view, looks really good, but I can't recommend it. It just wouldn't stick well. And if it can't stick to a prime surface, I, I don't know what it would stick to. I will link it in the description just so you can know what not to buy. Uh, maybe Amazon has some other recommendations for you. Here we are at the end. I think it turned out pretty well. I'm certainly happy to have saved it from the landfill.